If you're like me, you've got a problem. A car buying problem. You find yourself looking at Facebook Marketplace late at night for something. Because who knows, there might be a deal out there. And that brought me to this 1986 65,000 mile SVO. I've been looking at SVOs and turbo coupes for the better part of a year, but I had the 77 Maverick and it needed attention in order to make it across the country. I sold the Maverick a couple of weeks ago. So now what am I going to do? My two other cars here are pretty much dialed in. I did stop and take a look at this SVO prior to purchasing it. Did I drive it? Eh, no. It started, it ran, you know, around the block. The, the owner met me in a common parking lot. So I know he had to drive it there. So if I drove there, it should be able to drive 130 miles back to my place, right? The tires on the car were in really bad shape and uh, there's no way I was going to make it 130 miles on those. They were cracked in every direction. I met the seller and installer who was going to install the tires while we did the paperwork on the car. That all went according to plan. All that was left was to drive this SVO back to my place and we pick up the video where things didn't go according to plan. I'm about 90 miles east of home and about 30 miles west of where I picked this up. It's an 86 SVO. Everything seems to work okay in the car, although I'm getting a noise now that's very reminiscent of axle bearings. So 90 miles on bad axle bearings, yeah. Not a bad car, everything seems to work okay. It's relatively rust-free, which is cool, but bad axle bearings in 90 miles from home, not cool at all. So I'm gonna get you set up here and we'll see how we do. So I'm about 70 miles away from home, doing a leisurely 65-ish, I think. I got bad rear axle bearings, which I've dealt with before, but you can't do that on the road. So yeah, I'm a little concerned if I'm going to make it or not. The good news is the air conditioning actually works, so it's 85 outside, but it's kind of nice in here. The AC's blowing cold, which is cool. Everything else seems to work in this car. I'm not going to check the radio because, well, I'm worried about this rear end just kicking out at any time. I know I probably should have trailered it, but uh, it's for pussies much for the air conditioning. The belt's probably bad. I don't know, loose. It does work. I just gotta get the belt situation figured out. It squeals. I don't have any obnoxious noises coming from the rear end, but at 70 miles an hour, I don't know if I've noticed it. 37 miles to my exit, and I've got another 20 some miles back to the house. Yeah. Speedo's off a little bit, I think. So, I'm actually run a little bit fast. So I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll see how that plays out. Knock on wood out there, or do some finger crossing, or something. Whatever you got to do for luck, it'd be appreciated. Well, I am about a half a mile from the house. I'm going to make it. But I'll let you hear what I'm hearing. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of surprised that I made it. It's only when you go around corners, but it is, well, scary, especially when you're that far away from home. Shift's okay. It does go in a little bit awkward. The turbo seems to be okay, which is cool, but I got to do something with this rear end. that's whining and grinding and that's not good whatever that is is not what it's supposed to do so first order of business is to fix that and then maybe the indicator bulb for the left turn signal there's no horn so we gotta square that away that window over there is hesitant at a time the belt the AC works but the belts long past its best days Oh man, get some. And this sounds a lot worse outside the car than it does inside the car. Let me tell you. So there's going to be a checklist. There's going to be things that need to be done, but by a used car, that's how it typically goes, right? There's always something. 
I don't know if it can, is it gonna do a burnout? Sorta. Get on the lift, check it out. But hey, we're here, so that's all that matters. I made it home. As you can see, I made it home, myself and the car are here safely. I'm starting to think, and you heard that noise in the rear end, I'm pretty sure, it may be a service issue. That a lot of things on this car weren't serviced over the last maybe 15 years. I'll let you take a look at the air filter in this car. It is not pretty. It uh, looks like it hasn't been changed in a long time. And if the air filter, which is one screw, hasn't been changed in a long time, what else hasn't been changed? Is the friction modifier in the rear just broken down and I simply need to drain the differential and clean things up and add new fluid? It's very possible. I know one thing, the list at Rock Auto is gonna be a long one. And I'm gonna take a look at anything that I could possibly need for this car and I'm gonna order it. And so there's gonna be a lot of content on this car. I'll try to squeeze a lot of it into one video. The next one on this car is gonna be the rear end service because that noise is disheartening. I can live without the horn working and the turn signal indicator and the dash not functioning, but that, that's got to go. That's got to go and go right now. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. That way other people can see it. Also consider subscribing. That's always appreciated. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you.